Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I'm going to show you the zoom and focus cam. Now this is, uh, is not going to be a very extensive tutorial. If you want to see this camera in action, because remember, this camera now is just an effect. You should never use this camera only. You should always have it in a layer with other cameras. And uh, in, the, in the tutorial uh, of the observer cam, you will see this camera in action together with an observer cam. I will not show you that here. Instead here, we'd, we will just look at the features very quickly. So this will be a short tutorial. <clears throat> okay, so what are the, these two crosses here? Well, since they are red, and red usually in Craft Director Studio means that you parent it to something, you, you link it to something so that it follows something else. So let's just imagine this now. You have two cars following in a, in a car chase scenario and you want to refocus between those two cars now and then. And you want to in the moment say, okay, focus on the other, okay, back to focus to, to on the first one and so on. So that's one part of this camera to be able to focus between these two points. And uh, the second part is, of course, the zooming, which you do in different ways with this camera. And if we have a look at this right now, we can see that the, uh, we have a maximum field of view and a minimum field of view. I will actually change this to 5 immediately. It's uh, by default 0 0.01 so that you can zoom in extremely much because a uh, uh, field of view of 0 0.01 degrees, that's not much. So I change that immediately here for this tutorial. Um, now, this is how, how quickly the this focal point, because this is the focal point, this, this object here, moves between this cross and this cross and it moves between them with this speed. And the response factor is how smooth it, smoothly it transfers between these two. I usually keep the binary state here because I usually uh, tell the, the focus to be on the, the uh, on one or the other. So that's what this one will do because if I press the button that I will bind here, so I will bind this now to say, uh, right and left for the focal point. Uh, I will use my keyboard here because uh, it's uh, unnecessary to drag in the... the uh, well actually let's actually use the zoom for that and I regret myself. I, I regret that I chose that. I will actually use my thumbstick for that one too so that it's easier to show. <clears throat> now if I uncheck the zoom integrate here which is default you will see that the zoom here will change um, according to my left thumbstick exactly so if I integrate it's more natural than you just press the zoom and it zooms into some special position and then you release it while this if I uncheck this one then it's the absolute value of the input and it will go from uh, 140, field of view 140, very, very fishy, fish IE, uh, and then to a angle of 5 degrees up here. And that corresponds, of course, to a focal length with a, an Arcus tangent formula, which you can find in Wikipedia if you need that. Okay, I just hit record here now. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. So first of all, the focus, uh, the zoom goes to 140 degrees here. And if I push my left thumbstick, uh, now that's very slowly doing this. But what you can see here, when I release it, it comes to 140, right? And if I pull it, then it zooms to 5. So that's the limits here. And if I do, you see it has a, 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 a speed also, which is... Um, uh, limited by this factor, the zoom speed. So the faster this one is, the faster it would go from that to the other because now I have all it pulled all the way to the end and now I release it fully. So it's not immediately zooming there. So that could be a good thing to, to zoom in between those two points. 
Um, now, if I use the right thumbstick, I will move this uh, target here. Uh, right, so let's just move it back and forth here. Uh, right, so now I have the binary state here. Let's just uncheck that one uh, and see. Yeah, so I move this one from that to that. And uh, I'm just pulling the focal. Let's see here. Uh, it's not seen here. We need to go to this view. Now, the focal distance here, you see it changes from 5 to 10. And if I move this one, then the focal distance, the, the focal point will actually try to follow this as good as possible and it will change the focal distance. So now I have changed it. So imagine this, these two being parented to two different uh, objects here. And if I, as I said, if I click this one, then I have a binary state and this is usually with, done with a button now. So I just hit it upwards, bank, and it goes to that one smoothly as you see. And you can all change that speed with these two here. Up again, and it goes to the first one like that. Now, let's change the, the uh, let's stop it here for a while, and change the zooming to zoom integrate. Well, then you have unlimited uh, levels that you go through. So, uh, that was the, of course. So, I just pull it backwards. And zoom, 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 zoom. And it comes nicely to a stop there at five degrees. And I zoom in. And it comes to, to it doesn't stop there, but uh, you can just pull it backwards and forwards like this. That's a, a nice little feature you can do there. And if you change the speed uh, integration speed exponent, then um, you can get a you you get it to zoom slower and slower the the higher the the um, zooming gets. So otherwise uh, you will get too much zooming. Um, the zoom effect will be too pronounced. Uh, it will be too fast if it's one here. But five is a good number, I think. Right, so the next thing here that I'm going to show you is uh, the if you have this integration on the focal point instead, well, then you have a an, basically an analog focal point, which uh, simply zooms, uh, it's, uh, yeah, you can, you can change the focal point here to any point you want. Uh, I think this is quite difficult to, to use actually, so I, I don't use it that often. But uh, it's a feature that you can use if you want, if you have that kind of situation. Right, so that's actually it. Uh, okay, so this one here, this uses a spherical focal surface, so that means that uh, <coughs> if I check this one, then right now the planes are square, but uh, if it's spherical, then it creates a sphere around this uh, uh, camera, and uh, if the, the focal object is over here, then the sphere is actually larger so the focal distance is increased. So that's the last thing I am going to tell you here. And uh, I hope I have made some things clearer and I uh, hope you will enjoy this tool. And look at the observer cam um, tutorial also to see it in action. Thank you very much.